what were your first memories of uh, playing non-league football? First memories would be I joined a club when I was about 15, 14, 15 called Viking Sports, which was just on the A40, um, with probably about six or seven lads from school. And we used to go out, and I always remember our first our first memories of thinking it was like real football was because it had dugouts. Mm -hmm. And um, we, I played there for about uh, a year in the youth team and then moved on to Southall, which was now like a proper little stadium. Vikings, the only thing it had that resembled a, a, a proper stadium was the dugouts. Went to Southall and now you had stands and you had like, you know, terraces and stuff like that with the dugouts, which made it a little bit more uh, professional. Uh, so those were my first, first memories playing sort of like uh, youth team football and working my way out through the ranks. And of course, um, did, did you always have ambitions to play um, at the top level in the Premiership uh, and playing for your country when playing uh, the non-league uh, game? Believe it or not, that wasn't. They weren't my ambitions. My ambitions were to just play football, and enjoy it. I think, um, you know, I used to I used to watch football. I used to love football, but I, I never ever saw myself doing it. I didn't I didn't think I was good enough. I suppose at, at that time, but because I loved it and enjoyed it, I just I played football for fun back then. And you also played for Hayes. What was that experience like playing for Hayes and then getting signed by QPR? Yeah, well, that was um, it, it was strange. We played in uh, 1986, I think it was 87, Vars final mm. uh, with Southall. We got to the, the Vars final and uh, thought we had a really good little team. Unfortunately, we lost uh, in the final. And, um, we, you know, we thought next season we'd go again. But unfortunately, for some reason, the team disbanded and uh, the, it, Southall was no more as a, as a team. And... I was sitting at home through the summer, um, thinking, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go next season? Where I still want to play football, where am I going to play? Unfortunately for me, just before uh, the season started, I got a call from a fellow called George Goody, who was the, the manager of Hayes at the time. Um, he said, you know, he'd seen me play a few times and would love me to come to Hayes. I think they had a boy called Byron, something at, a, at a, Hayes at the time had gone to Wickham. Mm. So I, I went in, slotted in there. And believe it or not, everyone says I come from Hayes. I, I was only at Hayes for six, seven months. And then I st it started to attract the interest from uh, for Queen's Park Rangers, and um, within sort of like seven months of being at Hayes, um, I'd, I'd moved on to Queen's Park Rangers. Mm. Would that be something you recommend is kids who if they don't make it at the top level to go and play in non-league and get that experience? You know, it's funny. I'd, we had a, an in-house game here today, and I was talking to one of the players, and I was saying to him, "Look, you know, I can't understand it." I said, mm. "I used to I used to work for a living. You know, I used to drive a van. I painted and decorated. I did numerous jobs." But all the jobs allowed me to go and train on a Tuesday and a Thursday and play on a Saturday because it's what I loved doing. I, I loved playing football at the time and I still do right up until uh, right to this day. So um, I wasn't thinking about becoming a professional footballer. I was just thinking about playing football. Mm. And you know, I'd recommend it to anybody who you know has a desire to play football and enjoys playing football. Non-league is 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 a step below playing in the professional leagues, you know, and um, if you if there's a club that you can go to and enjoy it that way, you never, ever know what's going to happen. Yeah, definitely. And, of course, uh, non-league day coming up a week on Saturday. Um, for Tottenham fans, if they're not going to the England game um, on the Friday, would uh, you recommend Spurs fans going to see the local non-league teams to where they live and uh, to local non-league teams in North London? Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, that would be great. I think um, looking at grassroots football and seeing how it all... How it all is all developed and you know I think it needs to be advertised the amount of players that have come out of non-league football and actually gone on and not only played in professional football but gone on to represent the country as well I mean we're in an age of when you're at a club like Tottenham or you're at you know one of the Premier League clubs supporters demand that you've got to spend you know 10 million 30 million if you're going to be competing but I still believe there's got to be hidden gems in non-league football that can come out and I think Gal at Crystal Palace is a great example you know a couple of years ago, he's playing non-league football. Now he's, you know, he's in the starting lineup in the Premier League, playing for Crystal Palace. So the players are out there. It's just I think clubs need to be a bit more brave and, and need to go out scouting a little bit more than they're doing at the moment. Unfortunately, us we're in the era of it's got to be ten million pounds. Otherwise, he's not he's not capable. But um, I still believe there's some hidden gems, and you know, it may take for supporters to go and watch these games and see people and recommend people for for it to be start happening again. And is it something that um, Tottenham do? They go send scouts out to some of the local uh, non-league teams to see if there is 
talent there that hasn't been unearthed? Yeah, we're fortunate in that we've got a, a great scouting system that look all around the, the country, all around the area, you know, local area, you know, and all around the country, and not just at, at professional football, but they go into the grassroots and you know, schools and everything else. So, yeah, we have got a good scouting system that look at non-league players and make recommendations.